Welcome back everyone, Dan Vega here, and today I am taking a question from a student in my Spring Boot introduction course. But before we get to that, I just want to mention the course here. If you're interested in learning more about Spring Boot, I have an entire course on the subject that introduces you to Spring Boot. There's over 11 hours of video content. I'm always available for questions if you run into problems, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you're, if you're interested in finding out more, please go ahead and click that link below. So with that, let's get to the question. Okay, so the question is this. The student was starting up a new Spring Boot application from IntelliJ, and he got an application failed to start error. And the reason for that failure was that port 8080 was already in use. Now, he didn't have any other applications running, so it kind of confused him of what was going on. And so this is actually a common uh, thing that will happen sometimes. And, you know, especially in IntelliJ or other ID, if you don't shut it down properly, it can still, the process can still kind of hang around in the background. And so what we're going to do today is simulate that uh, by running another application and then starting it up in IntelliJ and seeing that error come up. And we'll look at how to solve this on Mac OS Sierra. And really, um, this applies for anything on Mac, but you can also kill a process uh, on Windows as well, which I'll link to below as well. So with that, let's go ahead and simulate this. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to open up a terminal here. And I'm going to CD into my dev boot JSON to DP. And what we're going to do is actually use the Maven plugin here. Um, so I got the Maven wrapper. Uh, what do we have here? So yeah, so doot mbnw. And what we're going to do is actually run spring boot the run command. And so this is going to just allow us to start up this spring boot application from the command line. And once we're once this all fires up, it should tell us that spring boot is running on port 8080. So we know our application is good to go. And we're not even going to jump into it. I, I guess the application itself doesn't really matter. I just want to see you. Uh, I just want to see this application running on 8080, which it is. So now I'm kind of simulating this. Maybe we forgot about this, and we jump into our Spring Boot app. And what we want to do is go ahead and fire this up. So let's go ahead and do this. And it's going to go ahead and try and start up. And it's going to give me an application failed error. And actually, the errors in Spring Boot since 1.4 uh, along these lines have gotten really good. So it's going to tell us exactly why it ap the application failed to start up. So let's go ahead and look at this. And there's our error. So description, the Tomcat connector configured to listen on port 8080 failed to start. The port may already be in use or the connector, connector may be misconfigured. So in our case, we know it's already in use because we fired that up ourselves, but let's just pretend we didn't know this was running or in our case, you know, in, in the case I spoke of before, maybe um, a process just wasn't disconnected properly. And so we need a way of looking to see what other um, processes are running on 8080. Thankfully on Mac here, we can run into Activity Monitor, and this kind of shows us all of the, um, ports that are running here. So you can see all these different ports. We can go down there and, and search it one by one if we wanted to, or we can just come in here and look at Java. So I see there's a bunch of different things running on Java. So what I'm going to do actually is just kill these. So kill, goodbye, goodbye, and those are gone now. So now I know that this is no longer running on 8080 because we actually killed it. So if I go ahead and run this now, our application should start up just fine. And there it is, our application started up just fine. So I wanna thank uh, whoever sent that question in. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Um, and uh, I think, that, again, this is something that you're gonna come across. It's uh, pretty common actually to have this happen, especially if you're in and out of different projects all day. So. I'm glad I got this question. I hope this helped. If you like it, please subscribe, give me that thumbs up, and uh, let me know what kind of problems you guys are facing, and maybe I can make a video about those as well. Um, so with that, uh, I wish you guys a good day. I hope everything is great, and I will see you in the next one.